Hello there, Sarja here. I know top 5 videos aren't exactly the peak of originality, but I feel like there's some underappreciation for a lot of the content inside Animal Jam itself. Let's not forget that the virtual world we all know and love is just that, a world, and the world of Jamar is bursting with creativity. There's a lot of areas I feel go unloved by the community, and I'm here to shine a light on those. This is the countdown of my top 5 areas in Animal Jam. Mount Shivir is one of the most interesting lands in the game. It has so much atmosphere, so much mystery to it, and I don't nearly think people appreciate it as much as they should. And while this may not be the most populated area in the game, I kind of feel like that adds to its sense of isolation, which, while well, usually I don't think adds to such a community-driven game, there's something about Mount Shivir which just clicks. Just listening to the music should let you know that you're at the highest point of Jamal. Sitting on the top right of the map with the mountains below you in the distance is just special. The hot spring near the bottom of the map, the little cocoa hut in the corner. Oh, and being able to break the ice too is just the icing on top. Okay, okay, that pun was bad. I do wish I could put Mount Shavir higher, but I guess that's just a testament to the quality of the content in the game. I've always had a thing for Rapondale. The music is some of my favourite music in the game, and the Savannah theme is fantastic. As a fan of The Lion King, this land is just great. I know it's not the most popular, but it's so darn colourful and never fails to put a smile on my face. Wildworks know that this is one of the most spectacular regions in the world. The variety in the Journey Book animals is fantastic, and this is easily one of the most fun lands to go to town with your Journey Book on. You can have a mud bath if that's your thing, and the Animal Conservation Museum is a lovely touch. Why there's a pet shop here though, I can tell you. Okay, okay, I already know I'm going to get a ridiculous amount of flack for putting this here, but you know what, it's my list, I decide the top 5. This is the one area that pushed me from making a video about lands to a video about areas. No matter whether you're into Animal Jam roleplay or not, you can't deny that the Pillow Room is one of the most iconic places in the game. There's something about the music that's just relaxing, and it's one of the most fun places to people watch. It's not for everyone, sure, and I'm guilty myself of roleplaying when I was younger, but the nostalgia is overwhelming with this one I'm afraid. You know, I was kind of offended when I learned that in Play World, people don't use the pillow room for roleplaying. Shock! They use it for trading their rares! I'm pretty sure if someone came into the pillow room on Animal Jam asking for rares, they'd be swiftly banned. And yes, I've been adopted before. I know, I know. If the music of Jamal Township hasn't ever been stuck in your head, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if you actually qualify as an Animal Jam player. The bustling streets of Jamal Township are always alive with people new to the game and people that can't stop logging in on a daily basis to get their fix of Animal Jam. I know it's not as detailed as many other maps on this list, but it's easily the most iconic place in the game, and I don't like saying this, but if you disagree, your opinion is, well, wrong. Something about logging on to the music of Jamal Township gets me every time. I don't think there's much more that I can say about this place that I haven't said already. Oh, it changes with the time of year, which is cool I guess, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same. Belouche is a cool map to explore and it looks incredible, but the story behind it existing is confusing at most. It feels like it was added for story reasons, but there isn't a story here yet? Coral Canyons is cool, and I love the massive archway at the top of the map. It was really tough deciding between this or Mount Shavir, so you can fight in the comments over which you like more. Speaking of Coral Canyons, Epic Wonders is beautiful, and who could forget those gold bricks literally everyone has in their den. Serapia Forest is the Warrior Cats roleplay hub of Jamar. There's always something going on here, but it's not my cup of tea. I know, I know, fight me. So what is my favourite area in the game? The Lost Temple of Zeos is special. There's a ton of content in this land alone, probably the most content out of any land in the game. It's ridiculous how much stuff is here, which kind of makes sense given that Zeos is the in-law creator. 
It's probably the most mysterious land in the game, with the exception of Belouche, which, yeah, I've already told you why. The land itself features probably the most well-loved minigame in Jamar, Falling Phantoms. Brady's Lab is a trading hotspot, at least on Alden. There's even an entire library here, with some secrets of its own. I did a bit of reading beforehand, and it seems to me like the Jamar Eclipse was the best event this game has ever seen. I'd love to see more once in a lifetime style events, and the amount of lore this event seemed to uncover was ridiculous. But the best thing about the Lost Temple of Zeos simply has to be the Forgotten Archives. A deep underground bunker with a ton of history behind it, and some adventures specific to Zeos himself. The amount of effort Wildwork spent on this area was crazy, and I really hope that their next game, Feral, has some good lore of its own. So I suppose I better throw the ball back in your court. What's your opinion? Have you got any favourite maps that I forgot to mention today? Please let me know, please write down in the comments. If you disagree with anything, please let me know. Uh, smash that like button, and I'll see you next time.